One way to bake indirect light in EV, let's, let's try and do this. Press G, Z, 1, lift it up. Numpad 1, front orthographic view, it's perfectly in line. Press Shift A, mesh. Let's use a plane. Let's press S10. And just for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to press G, Z, minus 1. And it's looking good. Next thing I want to do is select this and give it an emission texture. And let's give it a strength of 30. And let's choose a color that we like and change to render view. So currently that's what we have. Next thing I want to do is press numpad 7 to be in top orthographic view. I'm going to select this light source. I'm going to press shift D, copy it, chuck it over here, change the color. Shift D, copy it, chuck it over here, change the color, Shift D, copy it, chuck it in this corner, and change the color. All right, so this is our scene at the moment, and we want to bake in indirect light. So the first thing we're going to do is press Shift A, and let's click over here on Light Probe, and we're going to click on our Reflection Plane. Once you've got your Reflection Plane selected, you want to press S, 10, G, Z, minus 1. So it's on top of that. Then we want to press Shift A. And we want to go back to our light probe. We want to click our re reflection cube map. That should be fine. Perhaps you want to press G, Z, 1. There we go. And then we want to press Shift A, Light Probe, Iridence Volume, and we press S10. And we could press S Z 0.5 and press G Z 2 or 3. There we go. So that should be more than fine for the scene. We just need to increase the resolution. It's too big to have so few dots. So let's up this to 10, 10, and 10, which is like a, quite a bit. It's a thousand. And there we have our scene. Let's look at this our scene through our camera at the moment. So this is what our camera sees. And we are in EV. So now all we need to do is go to our render settings. I'll turn on screen space reflection. And then I'll scroll down to indirect light and I'm going to bake indirect light. It'll take a little while to work and I'll see you after the bake. All right, the bake is complete. And as you can see, we can see this in action. It's looking a lot better. And all we need to do now, if you want, is add bloom, adjust the bloom strength. Let's chuck this down to about three and we A4 away. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.